Good afternoon, everybody. We've got a real treat for you today, or trick or treat, if you will. Uh, we're gonna be making some of these concrete pumpkins that is all over TikTok and whatnot, DIY here. So, a little quick overview of everything needed to get the project started. Uh, first and foremost, bag of regular old sackcrete here. Uh, I got an 80 pound bag, 60 pounds probably enough. We're maybe gonna use half of this. Then a mixing tub. You're gonna need either a shovel or a hoe to do the mixing with. And then of course, get your little plastic jack-o'-lanterns from Walmart. And uh, instead of doing candle holders, we're actually gonna put some little of these miniature mums in it. So that's optional, however you wanna do it. Then some gloves and a tapping hammer. And uh, last but not least, you'll need a water source, so follow along and we'll DIY some of these concrete pumpkins all right so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna use the uh, plastic container pot that the mums come in as the mold set down in here for a hole in the center of the pumpkin so I got some of these uh, old extra pots I'm gonna transplant move over real quick and then we'll be able to use these as a mold all right now that we have our empty pots we're gonna give them a good rinse off get all this off because whatever is showing will show up in your concrete so just give it a good quick rinse all right I took some foil to cover up the holes in the bottom so that the concrete doesn't seep up through uh, duct tape probably would have been better for this but I didn't have any on hand so gotta do what you gotta do so we'll get to the most critical step and start mixing some concrete We're going to go and start with a little bit of water in the bottom of our pan. That'll help keep the uh, dry cement from sticking in the bottom and in the corners and whatnot. Alright, that ought to be plenty to get started with. Like I said, I'm only going to maybe use half a bag here. so. Concrete dust is pretty nasty for you, so put on some gloves and try not to breathe too much of it in while you're pouring it. All right, there's a little over half of the bag in. I uh, believe for these pumpkins, we want it to be pretty runny, so we're gonna add a good bit of water here. All right, now just grab your shovel or your hoe and start giving it a good mix around in here. Very careful, it's easy to make a mess with this stuff, and once it dries, there's no getting it up. Go ahead and work through it, make sure you get all your big chunks out. set up here so we'll start spooning in a little bit of concrete. This is going to probably make a mess. not something you want to do inside or if you have a nice driveway. 
It'll do it out in some gravel or in your grass and avoid the hassle later. Okay, I've got the uh, jack-o'-lanterns probably 80% full or so, give or take, and I used uh, a good three quarters or more of that concrete I made, just a little bit left, so not too much waste. All right, now that these are up above the eyes with concrete, we're going to go ahead and try sticking our inside pots in here and see how it goes I think I need to get some weight to put in this because this wanted to push it back up out so let me grab some gravel here and put it in and hopefully hold it down in there seems to be doing the trick pretty good at holding that pot down in there without pushing back up out so go and fill this other one up while I'm at it And again, while the concrete before it's set, you can just take water and wash it right off, no problem. But once it sets, there's no more doing that. Now, in the construction world, something we do is uh, vibrate the concrete to give you a, get all the air bubbles out and give you a nice smooth finish against your form. So I'm going to try smacking this board with the hammer a little bit and see if that helps our final product any. So there they are full, let it set for 24 hours, the last thing we need to do tonight is just clean up our mess and spray everything down. So that pretty well does us in for tonight. We'll let these sit up and tomorrow after work we'll come back and break them out of the mold and see how we did. All right, here we are the next day after work. So I'm gonna just pull the uh, flower pots out and see how progress is coming here. I'm afraid it may still be a little wet, so. Thank you. 
Yeah, there's still a good bit of moisture inside the pumpkin here, so. I mean, the concrete is firm, but that pot in there is definitely keeping it from letting the water out, so. I'll go ahead and pull the other one out, and we'll either pull it out all together later tonight, or maybe tomorrow, let it set for another day. Again, this is just regular high strength sackcrete. I did not get the fast setting. Maybe that would have been the better go-to. All right, here we are two days after pouring. Let's pull them out of the mold. Cut down the pumpkin line. There you go. Yes, I'm cutting down the pumpkin line. Careful with the face. Be careful with the face. Cut that off. Oh. Look at how good that turned out. wet. No, I mean it's a little damp. But... Pick it up again because there was something dangling off the bottom. Look at how good that turned out. Yeah, it did turn out super good. I think tapping the board definitely gave a very nice smooth finish on it. Yeah, look how good the detail turned out on that. This one was just a little short on concrete. The next one I think will turn out even better. It was ended up all the way to the top. Yeah, all the detail turned out real nice. Would you look at that? Cute. Now we have a pineapple. <laughs> yeah, it turned out pretty good. All right, everybody, here's our finished result. You can see how good they turned out. Uh, over the course of the next couple of days, they're going to continue to let a little more moisture out and get brighter and a little whiter colored. But overall, I think the finish turned out really nice on them, nice, smooth. You can see all of their face details. Oh, this guy's got a little bit of dirt on him from the flowers. But overall, very happy with how they turned out. I know this is a little different than my normal content, but I thought it'd be a fun little project to drag you all along on. So, if you like seeing dump trailer action, dump truck action, tractor stuff, be sure to follow along for future videos. There'll be plenty more of that to come along, but figured we'd show you a little DIY project for today since it is fall and we're getting into the season of pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns and all things spooky so here we go thank y'all